G'day everyone, welcome to another video by DFT, my name is Andrew Cook and today we're doing the front plates of the Odious T series, this is episode 5 I believe, so we'll jump straight into it. First you're going to need to jump on my Facebook fan page and download the, uh, the blueprints for today. We're doing the front plates so they're pretty easy and this tutorial will teach you how to do them and then you can apply your own custom designs to it if you'd like. So of course we've got to start off, we've just got to draw up the templates, now you're going to just do the basic outline first and we're going to apply it onto... Uh, the big chest frame that we built last time and if it doesn't fit properly or if it's, you think it's too big just trim it down not too hard once you're happy with the size that fits go ahead and apply it onto the foam and cut it out so that we have it in a cool 3d shape now what you're going to do is you need to gonna, uh, you're going to need to take the center part and make two copies of it the reason we're going to make two copies is so that we can do the layering effect I mean the center part protrudes a bit more than the wings so we're going to do this by following through this tutorial and hopefully it should so I'm just going to leave you, how, uh, leave you here now with some music because I don't really need to talk and just follow the steps and hopefully it's easy enough <laughs> If you enjoyed the music you can definitely go check out his channel Technomax his Facebook uh, sorry his YouTube channel is in the link description below he's got some amazing music that you can use for your own as well so go check his channel out now hopefully you followed that pretty easy the only reason I didn't need to talk is like I, cause I kind of thought the video was self-explanatory so there was no need for me to talk over it but for now for the wings it's gonna be something a bit different so go back with your template and see how I did these little kind of detailing parts they're on the template themselves so you can actually draw them up and then 
uh, mimic them onto your frame. Now one thing you need to do is you need to flip the foam wing that you have over so you have the nice texture part. If you don't actually have the foam that has this nice like Mass Effect kind of texture on the back, um, it doesn't matter. You can use the flat surface if you like. The only reason I'm using the texture is because it just brings out a bit more detail on camera. It stands out. It just kind of gives everything a bit more of a different plane so that nothing's all the same kind of flat, smooth texture. It's just a bit more dynamic. Now purposely I didn't use a sharp knife just to show you that this is what will happen if you don't use a sharp knife um, when using these small like detailed parts because these will be seen from every angle you take with a photo so you want to make sure they're pretty damn pristine even if it takes you a few goes to get it um, I wouldn't put a shitty um, front piece on your armor because it's just not gonna look good even though you could sand it down it just still won't get rid of it so as you can see I'll show you in a minute that it's really edgy Ugh it's not good that was because I used a blunt knife I mean you really just need to use a sharp one even if you have to switch blades twice through it um, the blades only cost like 30 cents if you buy them in packs of 12 so it depends how much you want to put into the nice aesthetic details of your costume so once you've cut that out just go ahead and stick it down um, if you want you can do a whole bunch more custom designs on these carve more detail add more detail but for now this is gonna be simple enough for you guys to understand and take on board but these are just base platforms for you guys to learn and apply your own skills or do whatever just gotta teach you the basic principle to show you how easy it is so once um you've got your middle piece all done like i just put a back plate like a little square that i just cut out just to raise it a bit more because as, as you can see the wings are sitting on the under rib attachments which are also raised so you're just going to bring it up to that same level and then go ahead and glue it all on. Now hopefully you've done two wings rather than the one. I just was lazy <laughs> and did the one. And it should look pretty cool. Now you can do this last little touch. Like I said, you can take it further and put a little ring in the middle. Now you can make this out of foam. You can make this out of cardboard. You can make it out of styrofoam. It doesn't really matter. Um, honestly, whatever you can do for the better detail. As you can see, this looks pretty crummy um, because I just did a really half-assed job just to show you that you need something in the middle because it just kind of it's like puts the cherry on the top and it makes it look something nice so I hope that tutorial was somewhat informative and you can take what I've taught you here and apply it to your own process add more design custom design it definitely check your Facebook photos on so I can see how you took it yeah